But Congress, in this this vote today, was overwhelmingly for this idea of stepping back, looking at who's coming in, wasn't it? Absolutely, Neil. The American people have spoken, and today the People's House responded in a very large bipartisan way. How did you respond? I don't quite understand what this means. Some are interpreting it as all Syrian refugees coming into this country. That stops? Or we just table it, look at the measures, make sure the, 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 the procedures that are in place to check whether they're secure and safe and who they say they are last. What is it? Well, Neil, this all started not because Richard Hudson says the process is broken, but because the FBI director said we can't properly vet these people in testimony before Congress. Jay Johnson, Secretary of Homeland Security, said we don't have complete information on these folks, so we can't properly screen them. And so based on that, what we did today in the House is we said we're going to stop the flow unless and until the FBI director can put a background check process in place that he's comfortable with and until the Homeland Security Secretary can vouch for each refugee not being a threat. All right, now, you've got almost 50 Democrats who agreed, so you, you could certainly take on and override the president there uh, in the House. The Senate's another yes, dicey matter. But this was really mo mostly about making a statement, right? I mean, you guys felt it started with Republicans, but as I say, with all these Democrats to say, we are not checking this out thoroughly enough. We're not vetting these folks out thoroughly enough. The president says he is. Who's right? Well, you know, the president's not disagreeing with me. He's disagreeing with his own FBI director that he appointed. And, you know, this is not just a statement. We hope to change this procedure. And, you know, well, what would you having... change, Congress? And that's what I don't understand. The president says that they have the most stringent standards in effect now for the roughly 2,000 who've already gotten into this country over the few last few years. How would that change? How would it be sort of tightened, buttoned up? What would, what would you say? Well, it's the same president who said we've contained ISIS the day of the Paris attacks. And so uh, what I would suggest to the president is he ought to listen to the FBI director he's appointed. The FBI director says we can't properly vet these individuals because we can't build background uh, backgrounds on them. You know, for example, if you do a background check through the FBI, they go and talk to your neighbors. They go talk to your former employers. Uh, they'll go talk to your fourth grade piano teacher. Uh, you know, but in the case of these Syrian refugees, you can't knock on the next door neighbor's door because the whole block's missing. You can't go to a business that's closed. You can't do that closed. with four million of them, right? I mean, there are roughly that many that are wandering around in internment camps and everything in Europe. So given the fact that so many of them, you can't trace where they came from, who they are, or uh, any paperwork at all, does that mean for those, uh, they're, they're not going anywhere? If we can't build a proper background check on them, if we can't verify who they are, uh, we absolutely should not let them in this country. Now, let me answer one thing the president said that just sort of stuck in my craw. Maybe you can address it. His criticism of this and how you were treating Syrian refugees by saying you were being unfair to those trying to get into this country, when this is the same president who was debating whether to aid the Syrian rebels, he, he opted not to, ultimately punting to Republicans to say, you deal with it because I don't know to whom I'm giving the aid. In other words, I don't know the, the, the nature of, of these so-called Syrian rebels. Yet the flip side is a willingness to take any and all who come from Syria because it's a humanitarian thing to do. That's a great point you raise. And you got to remember that ISIS has said, we're going to use this refugee crisis to infiltrate America. This, ISIS has also said they, their goal is to come here and kill Americans. Neil, I take them at their word. Yeah, they've, they've lived up to that word, haven't they? Congressman, thank they you. sure have. Very, very much.